Hello friends, this is Mr. Singh from MDC Tech. So, friends, in this video, we will cover uh, uh, the ASP.NET MVC repository pattern. Then, first, uh, some introduce to uh, repository pattern. Basically, the repository pattern are uh, used for uh, some uh, security purposes like in uh, our controller, we will use to manage uh, the your dependency injection like that so for delay some uh, so uh, the, uh, I will uh, create this uh, the repository pattern in single uh, DLL even you may uh, create your model in different your data entity number in different the repository in different DLL but uh, that will be comes in uh, the uh, your end layer architecture but uh, we use uh, just a single dll because there is i have uh, created some uh, example for you uh, okay so in a very sharp uh, level project you may use a different uh, uh, dll because you have to need on that uh, create as uh, one is uh, for uh, mobile application one for front end one for uh, back end one for your web api and services etc and if you create uh, the uh, data model in a different different dll then your uh, code is too complex okay so you uh, you will uh, manage the data model in uh, uh, one uh, single class library and the make a reference in all your uh, mobile uh, mobile front end back end and web api and uh, you may easy to uh, uh, reduce your code and uh, easy to manage from a single uh, layer so let's we start the repository pattern in mbc okay first uh, you need to create one empty project in mbc okay like this way uh, new project and create the web application okay uh, like fine so empty project you may use here first uh, you need to change your web dot uh, config connection string make this connection string like this way i have used the uh, uh, sql authentication yes so uh, the second thing you need to install in your project not install the entity framework you need to install the entity framework first we go to tool package manager and library i have installed in my application so we will not now there so first uh, after then you have create the model so uh, choose decide first uh, how uh, uh, much field in uh, your table what is your table name and i have used there one user table in the user table i have id username password and under and under the uh, field length okay so the second thing create one entity from work data uh, folder and in the data folder you have create a mapping of user table mapping in the mapping you will uh, tell to the sql server uh, the, which is the hash key like uh, primary key and uh, how much uh, string uh, field length and even you have uh, decided there uh, the their uh, table parent and child uh, like that okay so there uh, even you uh, create your uh, table name okay so the next thing is create a db context file db context i have inherited uh, the db context okay inherited from db context then there you may uh, uh, add a, any name uh, class which you want first i have created a db set virtual db set of the user from a user model and uh, the assign my connection string name connection string name okay the lastly i have assigned the user mapping okay 
so then you have the run some no get commands go to practice manager and run if you not enable your migration because we will are working with podcast technology so first enable migrations if you are not enabled after enabled you will get the this uh, folder the configuration okay so and then after then you have run add migration add migration and migration name okay so after then after also uh, see you have run update data if you uh, after update database succeed you will see in your database your table and table all fields okay with the size okay so now we going to start create our repository okay first you have create a base repository which is uh, called which will be called in all the running repository okay so create a class of base repository the base repository and inherited the interface based repository in the interface based repository we have just declared the all method this will return the all uh, rows this is with the include if they have a child table this will insert this will edit and this will update and there the same name we will uh, with signature we have uh, the product all okay then you have create one the user repository user repository will be inherited from base repository we will pass the user table in the base repository base repository will be return uh, to us the all rows the rows by single and the insert edit and update us I like that okay the interface user repository you have to assign the all uh, method declaration okay so now we going to create the controller I have created already one home controller and uh, create there one dependency injection so just call the user repository and user repository constructor we in a constructor you we will we have uh, used like this way the dependency is in check now so uh, I have create one method for index there I uh, return all uh, rows of a user table this is detail this is create method it all of I declare in user repository so just I call the user repository method so find and edit user repository find and we delete like this way okay lastly you have create your index view in the index view you have I enable the user model and call write this type code edit the detail if you need then the create the create view this is field this is validation for that validation summary okay this is our the form the form submit this is for uh, delete this is for detail and this is for our 
uh, edit so now you are going to run uh, this project this is our entries which it shows here so if you want to create a new one here you can create hhh hhh create hhh is created if you want to edit hhh gg okay fine gg if you want to see detail go to back if you want to delete this one if you want to create new r r r r r this is created even you can check in your database okay your data is created okay so friends this is our repository pattern so if you want to create a different dll then you can move copy and paste the data layer a different model layer different and repository in different layer and easy to use this so thanks for watching this video and like us and share us if you really like and like to my uh, subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, because uh, the in the next uh, video when we publish uh, then you easy to uh, notified and easy to watch that so thanks again